would like to summarize briefly at the end of our session. Can you name, please, three major challenges for your country today on the national, regional and global level? Who will to start? No, I can. Mr. I can go. Well, um, on the national level, it's as always ensuring uh, sustainable economic growth in the very challenging environment. Thankfully, we have uh, a positive growth, growth of 4%, something like this year. But uh, we are not complacent, and we need to make sure that this economic growth is uh, spread and the benefits uh, benefit uh, as, ma as wide uh, the scope of the population as possible. Uh, on the regional level, I already mentioned several things, uh, but perhaps I should highlight that uh, the biggest challenge that we face on the regional uh, the, the biggest opportunity, perhaps, uh, challenge slash opportunity, lies in the word connectivity. And mm. uh, this is the buzzword right now. We want uh, it to be developed. We see this Belt and Road, Global Gateway, PGII by G7, all as complementary and uh, as benefiting not just our region, but all these outside players. On the global level, I think the biggest challenge is how to make sure that the United Nations system again works. Our president uh, addressed this issue in uh, numerous statements, including at uh, the United Nations General Assembly, stating that the uh, role of the General Assembly needs to be strengthened as the most representative body and the Security Council needs to be reformed. Uh, and the voice of the middle powers, of which Kazakhstan is one, should be strengthened. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Kastanian. I guess the challenges are pretty the same. Uh, for national level, mm -hmm. this is to continue the ambitious democratic reform agenda that we started in uh, 2018 after the Velvet Revolution and to... Uh, and these reforms will and are uh, supporting the economic growth of uh, my country. Uh, on the regional level, of course, this is the normalization of relations with uh, our neighbors and opening of uh, regional uh, communications. And uh, on international level, this is to make the international tools and mechanisms adequately working without any reluctance. Uh, because uh, Sometimes uh, the geopolitic prevails and in that case some of the regions are under the shadow and um, the presence in this panel in the audience and is a clear uh, identification of another identification or, or example of this because uh, during the panel of very honorable Minister Kuleba, the audience was full. During the panel, this panel, when we are talking about the challenges in Central Asia and South Caucasus, and I do believe that these regions are not less important. Uh, what is the, not the, case? The, uh, the hall is half empty although it's all full as well. And there were no questions. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, we are perfect uh, with our timing. And uh, I would like really to thank uh, Roman Vasilenko, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan, and Vahan Kastanian, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia. Thank you so much thank for you. this substantial conversation. Thank you.